Today we're looking at Euro modules and decorative faceplates from British General. So on the table in front of you, you've got a vaster range of these uh, Euro modules by British General, as well as different coloured faceplates and different designs. Where are you going to start for me, Gordon? Well, let's start with the Euro module itself, because uh, some people might be very familiar with them because they're used extensively for, for data outlets. So here I've got a single module. Okay. So they're 25 by 50 as the standard Euro module size. So I'll just clip that into my faceplate there. Here's a dual module, that's HDMI, so it'd be useful if you're doing AV installations. And here's some blank modules that are half Euro module sized, just to clip in and finish making up this faceplate here. This reminds me a little bit of a grid switch arrangement, however it looks like we've got vastly more accessories that can go into this system. Yeah, so the, the, the good thing about the Euro module is there's a huge range of components that goes way beyond the grid switch. So you can get switch elements themselves, you can get sockets, you can get brush outlets, fuse connection units, there's, there's everything in there. But the good thing about the Euro module is it is standardised, so it's interchangeable across a wide range of systems where grid switches aren't. Right, okay, so I've gone white on white here with the colour. Is there any other colour inserts that we can have other than the white one? Okay, so BG offer these in three colour combinations. There's the white we've shown, there's grey and there's black. And they match the other decorative ranges within the BG range. So I've got two here. So here's a black nickel with a black insert and a chrome with a white insert. So you just match to that if these are used within the same installation. Okay, that's a nice touch, isn't it? They're really nice. I, li I like the finishes on those as well. So we've got inserts that can be grey, black and white and the actual surrounds themselves, have they got a set of colours? Yeah, so they come in a whole range of colours. So again, there's the white, there's the brushed steel, polished brass, uh, Georgian brass we'll come back to, uh, polished chrome and the black nickel we've just seen. Um, some bad news on the Georgian brass game, that has been discontinued. So you're telling me that if I extend my property out, uh, I can't continue the theme of the brass with the rope edge as I move forward? No, you can't capture that 1980s B&B feel anymore, you'll have to update yourself. Okay, and with this range I can see that very contemporary look, and that's, it's a beautiful finish, and you can choose that finish to suit. Is there anywhere else you want to go with that lovely finish? Well, let's think about the finish. Uh, the last option to pick in finish, you can obviously have um, screwed front plates. Okay. Uh, so the visible screws yeah or you can have the flat plate design to match again the flat plate range offered by BG okay I like that so let's have a one in your hand now then oh, I, I genuinely really really like that I can see that being by the side of a bed main light uh, bedside light and a couple of USB charging ports which is really handy for obviously for your device which is more than just a phone I would suggest nowadays. yeah well people have people have moved on these days Gary's not many people have a radio alarm clock by the side of the bed that's so uh, you're suggesting that I'm out of touch, that I've got one by the side of my bed, but purely because I don't want to keep looking at my phone because I tend to be there on social media run checking the time. Yeah, well, we're moving on, Gary. You've ditched the brass now. It's time to ditch the alarm clock and just go with this nice Euro module combination there. And what I also like is, let's say, for instance, you wanted to upgrade that to a different style of USB charging in the future. Are you saying I just unclick this and click in the replacement? Yeah, you're not tied to having to replace the whole faceplate. And that is one thing I love about Euro modules. It's that future upgradeability because who knows where technology is going okay so we've looked at that finish we've got a lovely floor socket here do you want to talk me through the floor socket yeah so again I've combined in this floor socket another you know a lot of people might if you've got a conservatory or where you've got a lot of say sliding glass doors and you want to put a socket near there but there's no way in the wall you might fit a floor socket and I've combined a 13 amp with a 5 amp outlet in the same plate and generally what happens with these is people don't tend to bend down to pull out the socket outlets and they tend to hold on to lead and yank them sometimes these can become damaged so only got to replace the insert the actual surround stays the same just to click a new insert and yeah we go. so again you're just replacing the module not the expensive metal work that's around it and, and, and we can continue that dual theme I've also made another one up here that's a combination of a UK socket with a European socket. Okay. Um, so let us know your comments if you've if fit these. I've certainly seen them in hotels. It'd be interesting to get a, a regs approach as to what, what that means putting a European outlet. German voltage is the same as ours, but obviously there's a, an issue there with it being a German socket outlet. Well, we've seen that a lot, haven't we? Anything else in a hotel room you want to pick up at this stage? Well, while we're there, we might as well start at the door. Wait, a lot of the time you see these key switches. Now, imagine the challenge if you're the manufacturer of having to make a key switch in all of those different faceplate options. 
So because this is just a, a dual face plate and this is a Euro module, we can just clip that in and we've got the same surround at the door where we'll have the same surrounds on the accessories within the actual Yeah, installation. so if I, if I flip that up and have a closer we'll look. Have a closer look at that. You'll see this is just, again, dual U Euro module sized, just clipped into the Euro module face plate. So that is a useful solution. And I can have that again in any of the colors within the BG range. Yeah, so we've ditched brass. Yeah, let's think of that now. In some parts of the country now, especially down in London, it's illegal to have plaster on the wall. You've got to strip your building back to that bare, bare brick and it's conduit and metal clad accessories. So you can also get the Euro module in metal clad as well. Oh, I, I, I like that. Let's have a little bit closer look at that. That is really, really nice. So what we've got there is it solved the problem beyond the TV. We've got a couple of data points, maybe feed in the TV and maybe that skybox, a couple of satellite TVs and a standard TV connection there. And you said that's in the um, standard finish of? Yeah, so this is the metal clad finish with the white with the white elements. So that gives you that industrial look along with a conduit, say, going down in that area. Yeah. They've thought of everything. They have, so that's why, yeah, we love Euro modules. And there's one more thing, Gary, that you, you, Gary's made a separate video looking at something called the combination plate, where your conventional power outlet's been brought together with masses of space for some Euro modules. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. This is the perfect solution to that cable clutter behind the TV. And again, everyone's area behind the TV is unique to their television. And using the Euro module system, you can build it to suit your own needs. As always at eFix, we're interested in your comments, so please make sure you leave those below. Have you fitted the Euro module range from British General? Are you thinking of fitting it in the future? What's your feelings on the range? And also, we'll get back to as many of these comments as we can, along with BG, so make sure you leave them below.